Pastor Nikki here again. I'm so glad to bring you a children's message today from my house, and I will have a little special helper today with the message. But first, let's get started with the reading for today. The first scripture reading that goes along with our message is from Isaiah chapter 59, verse 2. Rather, your sins have been barriers between you and your God, and your sins have hidden God's face from you, so that God does not hear. And the other scripture reading today comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 7, verses 37 through 39. On the last day of the festival, the great day, while Jesus was standing there, he cried out, let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. As the scripture has said, out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now he said this about the Holy Spirit, which believers in, in him were to receive. For as yet there was no spirit, because Jesus was not yet glorified. And now, let us join together, and I will have my guest teach us a little bit about the Holy Spirit and uh, how our sins and fears separate us from God. As I said, I have a guest here helping me today, Gavin, my son, and he's going to help us learn about what the scriptures were talking about with God related to our relationship and closeness to God and how our sin and fear can separate us from God, but that the work of the Holy Spirit can help bring us near to God once again. So today I have here a cup that represents our relationship with God. And when we are inside the cup, that is when we are closest to God. But unfortunately, our sin and fear cause us to separate from God. And so this tissue here is a representation of our sin and fear. But I also have here some nickels that represent you and I and others all different types of people. And then there's water. Gavin, what does the water represent? Uh, Holy Spirit. And let's see what the water does to our sin and fear, what the Holy Spirit does to our sin and fear. Let's see, Gavin. You see, the Holy Spirit can remove that sin and fear and make us close to God once again. So remember, when your sin and fear seem so great and you want to draw back close to God, ask the Spirit to help take away that sin and fear. 